I'm here with uh, Olivia Greenspan, and she gave a talk at TEDx Beacon Street uh, about carbon a negative, carbon negative, uh, and her thoughts on it. So, Olivia, I was I was intrigued by your talk on CLT and mm -hmm. how it's a building building material. Uh, I was wondering if there's any large scale projects that use CLT. Mm. That's a great question. There haven't been any large-scale real estate development projects using CLT yet. There are buildings that have used it, but we want to be the first large-scale demonstration project because we know that talking about things helps change the world. The building models is what really changes the world. Awesome. Thank you. Um, also, I was wondering what got you involved in TEDx? Mm. So, the founder of TIL, Jane Philbrick, uh, goes to the Harvard Energy Journal Club meeting. She did her master's at the Graduate School of Design there. And she met a PhD student, Lauren Kuntz, who is studying Earth and Planetary Sciences at Harvard. And she gave a TEDx youth talk a few years ago and nominated me to speak, which was very nice. Thank you, Lauren. I was wondering what what made you passionate about a carbon negative mm. um, emission initiative? Mm -hmm. Growing up, I didn't really identify as an environmentalist or an outdoorsy person, really. And it's really funny because I now care very much about climate change, and so I do things to to you know what I can in my own personal life, like using reusable cups and tote bags and wearing clothing. And I look down and I'm like. I'm this like hippie person, but I really don't, um, you know, I didn't identify with it my whole life. I just started to learn about it in the program called Rewire that I discussed, and it made a lot of sense as a really big problem that's hard to wrap your head around, but that really matters to engage with. So I started learning about it, and it's kind of this hole that you fall down where you, once you, you really have this aha moment, I don't think there's any going back. Now, it's, like you said, it's a big thing and it's a big motion. Is there anything you could recommend that people do to mm -hmm. s start and improve on their journey to become carbon negative? Hmm. I'm not sure that people, it's pretty hard to be carbon negative in your own personal life. Okay. And actually, kind of, I kind of don't encourage people to focus on their individual actions because really it's industry that's making the biggest impact on the climate change. So I do things in my own personal life just because it makes me feel good. You know, all the things, yes. using energy efficient light bulbs and using reusable cups, but more using, it's more about using your voting power, your voice, and advocating for large scale change in industry especially, which is why I'm focusing on real estate development because the built environment, buildings, are the largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. What do you see being the next major change to spark, let's say, real estate or the industry towards becoming carbon negative? Um, I think innovations like the one we've created with TIL, um, we'll see more of them, and I look forward to seeing what other people create. But hopefully we just move forward with, um, you know, large-scale implementation, which would really help to buy us time in climate change. Great. And was there anything today that you didn't get to discuss in your speech that you'd like to talk about now? No. Okay. I think I said my main message. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Well, thank you, Olivia. Thank you. Matt? Yes. Thank you, Matt. <laughs>